This bike belongs to a friend of mine, Joe T. It's a uh, redneck frame, Baker six feet on it, Pat Kennedy oil tank, black bike wheels. It's gonna have a real wild paint job on it. We're gonna chrome the frame, chrome the front end, paint the bars black, the motor's already black. We custom built this bike for Keith Ball, Bandit, who used to be with Easy Rider Magazine. Well, he calls it a 1928 shovel head. It's got the pullback bars on it, you know, and uh, it's got the foot clutch and the suicide shift. People want different things, and this is different than the norm. This one here is a 1965 panhead. It's another little rigid frame chopper. Daytech made the frame. We made the, uh, the gas tank and the rear fender was all done by our fabrication guys here. This is the latest one up we did. It's a, I call it the tattoo bike. It's a uh, total performance 121 motor. It's a redneck frame. The wheels are Ego Trip. It's got my logo on it and Peace Sign and Betty Page and Marilyn Monroe and choppers and eight balls and flying eyeballs and helter-skelter. Guy asked me the other day, how many tattoos are on that bike? And I said, one big one. <laughs> Some of the guys that we've done business with are Tony Casillas, Alonzo Spellman, Barry Switzer, Fred Strickland. And we've done a lot of stuff with Randy White, who's a friend of mine as well as a customer. I actually got to go riding, spent like three hours one afternoon riding with Troy Aikman and Herschel Walker, which was kind of a once in a lifetime experience for a guy that's a huge cowboy fan like me. We, we are fortunate enough to do a lot of business with the Dallas Stars. Uh, some of the guys that we've done business with are Billy Guerin. We built a bike last year for uh, Darian Hatcher. Uh, Richard Mapachuk is not only one of my best customers, but he's one of my best friends. We've done two bikes for him. This is the latest one that we did. It's an uh, Eddie Trotta setup. It's his frame, single-sided swing arm, uh, air syndicate paint job, TP-121 motor, diamond cut the heads. Yeah, they came out really good. This is a bike that uh, we're building for Jason Arnott of the Dallas Stars. What makes this bike, what gives it the look that we're trying to get for Mr. Arnott is the sheet metal. We did all the, the sheet metal here, start with four by eight sheets of aluminum and uh, I mean as you can see it came out really, really wild and it sets everything off. If you notice we've got a lot of spears and different things like that on the rear fender and the gas tank and the breather and, and the motor mount and the front fender just adds to the look that we're trying to achieve. It's a single sided swing arm so this side is completely open and uh, it's, just, uh, it's just a badass bike, that's for sure.